bees. Time to get up. Um, okay, time to get up. So people kind of always ask me how I get everything done in a day. So I decided to finally make a video explaining it. So the day actually starts here in bed in the dark at about five something. I'll check the clock in a sec. But uh, let me get some clothes on. I'll meet you outside. Okay, so I want them up and kind of dressed. I usually start off by checking a couple of things on my phone of all places. For some reason, it's gotten easier for me to check it on my phone rather than on the computer. So it's uh, 5.40. Park myself on the couch and the first place I usually start every day is my favorite place, Instagram. Um, I like starting off with photos. It takes me a couple minutes to kind of sort through them. Um, and I go from there. After Instagram, I usually spend some time going through my uh, at mentions on Twitter, uh, making sure if anyone sent me anything throughout the night. Um, I spend some time checking emails, um, not necessarily to respond or really absorb the information, but just to kind of see what's out there so I can start thinking about it throughout my day. Um, I rarely check Facebook, not really a big fan anymore, but just kind of basically get myself grounded for the day of the things I need to think about before I get started. Sorry. Uh, let's see. 5:50. Um, uh, I usually usually kind of put the phone down um, while I'm making breakfast in case I have any kind of. So now as you can see, I'm a little bit more awake. As my brain starts working, if I have any thoughts I had last night or things that happened in my dream or um, ideas I want to get out of my head right away, I usually leave Twitter on while I'm making breakfast for the girls um, and just kind of type away as thoughts come. But I'm not going to put you through that, so I'm just going to stop the video here and I'll check out in a couple minutes. Yeah. Okay, so once breakfast is finished, usually I try to put the screens away and close the lap up, laptops up because it's time to wake the kids up. Uh, today I'm going to make an exception because I want to kind of get this on video, but I usually come up and get Skylar awake and get the kids down to breakfast. After that, it's about a 30 minute struggle to get everyone dressed and ready for school and you know, for those of you that have kids, the craziness that comes with all that. So let's see if we can get Skylar awake and I'm gonna go ahead and put these laptops and stuff away uh, until the next time I would actually use one on a daily basis. Are you ready to wake up and get some num num downstairs? No, it's school time. Can I carry you down? Yeah, Kaya's almost ready downstairs already. Okay, as you can see, this is going to be a longer process than I can get on this video, so um, um, I'll catch you later, probably when we're on our way out the door and in the car is the next time I would okay. actually... once in the car, time. I'm usually able to kind of check uh, some tweets that came in throughout the morning or conversations I had going on. Uh, I usually spend a couple minutes just double checking that everything is caught up and then I get into picture mode and start thinking about the pictures I'm going to take throughout the day and Instagram mode. Um, other than that, um, it's kind of offline Man, until we get back to school. That morning drop off was no fun. Skylar did not get in a better mood. She basically screamed the whole way getting her dropped off. So it's about 7.25 now, just got to school. Um, usually what I do is spend the first 10 minutes or so um, <clears throat> catching up on reading some of those emails, going through my Twitter stream, just kind of casually getting ready for class. Um, I have a sixth grade class first off today. So um, they're ready to go. We're just continuing storyboarding, so there's really not much prep. Um, so I can just relax, um, decompress for a little bit, and get ready to start class. Hey, nothing too exciting to report. Just had a grade six actually. class where more than 90% of my class was not here due to some national tests. I only had two students. Um, so we were able to get them caught up on their Apostura site. Uh, they worked, um, and I answered questions here and there. I chatted on Twitter a bit and kind of hovered around to see if they needed any help. Other than that, things went well. Off to English department planning meeting, and uh, we'll say hi. Okay, so here I am at the English department planning time. We usually meet every Tuesday for about an hour, go over what we're doing in various classes, our units, and all that kind of stuff. So, let's say hi. Uh, and this probably takes about an hour. Okay, end of meeting. Successful meeting. We planned, got things organized. I cheated a little bit because when other people were talking, I answered some blog post comments. <laughs> so I did multitask in our meeting, but I think uh, I was paying attention enough to know what was going on in the meeting and do that as well. 
I am off to pick up my daughter Skylar uh, across campus. I'll be taking my phone, obviously, to try to snap some photos along the way. Everyone say bye. Well, time for Skylar to play in her car before we drop her off and go home. This is actually our break, so I have about 30 minutes of just kind of downtime. Um, Skylar, can you wave? Say hi. Okay, so after I drop Skylar off, usually I'll have another 10 minutes or so of break. Sometimes I hang out, uh, socialize and chat with people. Sometimes I come upstairs and just kind of unwind, listen to some music, catch up on tweets before my next class starts, which today is grade seven. So today I think I'm just gonna kind of hang out. What do we got playing here? We got the, uh, can you see that? Got the shins playing, um, catch up on some tweets, and wait for my grade seven class to come. I've already mentioned I'm a bit of an Instagram, sorry, that light is crazy, huh, right there. I've already mentioned I'm a bit of an Instagram junkie, so I will take this time to take a look at a few Instagrams as well before my class starts, just to take a look at some pictures. Okay, so here we are in grade seven. Uh, grade seven class is currently working on making some movies, so we're just gonna walk around and take a look at what everyone's doing and have a quick chat with them. Uh, we're in the storyboarding and early shooting stages, as well as some, some editing. So let's take a look and see what everyone's doing. Okay, so that was grade seven class that's just left. Now we have our IT coaches meeting where we meet once a week to kind of double check that everything is going according to plan. Uh, members here are Martin, IT head, Gavin, other coach, Brian, who's MIA, uh, and Jane, who's not here yet. So we're gonna get started soon, um, and that's about it. Every day after lunch, I usually come out here and talk to Sam or Shruti. We hang out for about 10, 15 minutes. Hi. Just again. <laughs> You'll notice they're from the English department. Uh, we usually just hang out to chat about stuff uh, yeah, before we go back to lunch time. Back um, I actually have a, a nice chunk of time to get some work done. This is kind of my drop-in coaching time. Um, and a lot of times what I do is catch up on things that I have needed to do for a while. So today I have some tech things I need to do. Um, I'm planning an Apple Regional Training Center workshop in uh, a little over a week because so I need to plan on setting up that workshop. That's item agenda number one. Um, I'm also doing a Google training program, uh, so I need to go through some of those modules. I look, hope to get in about a half hour of work done on that. Um, and I also need to tighten up some rubrics for my grade seven classes. So those are the three things I hope to do in the next two hours, which is great to have that chunk of time. Um, I realize a lot of teachers don't have that much time, and that has been worked into my schedule, so um, I know how lucky I am to have that extra time. Um, I'll check in and out, but that's the way I check see in. It's been about 30 minutes or so since I last spoke. Um, I got some work done on a Google Doc about uh, orientation training for teachers next year. Um, I did waste some time going on my blog and responding to some comments because the ideas and the thoughts have been kind of rattling around my brain all day. And it's the first time I've had a chance to kind of sit down and get them out. And I'm going to spend another 10 minutes or so going through Instagram um, because it helps clear my head and I just like looking at the pictures. So I'm hoping that after that, um, I'm going to get to work on my to-do list. And the first one is my digital... So I actually want to spend a little bit of time explaining <clears throat> kind of the power and the reasons why I would spend a couple of minutes looking at Instagram pictures in the middle of the day. Um, so I was looking at this picture this morning by Stephen Davis, who's a teacher in the States, and he had this great picture of kind of like this um, gray, watery thing, I don't know if you can see it. And so on that comment, I said, hey, this song reminds me of a song called Gray by Andy DeFranco. Uh, later on, he said, oh, I'll have to check that out. And so what I did was I just sent him the link. Now, what's the purpose of that? What's the advantage of making that connection? Again, it's this idea that if we want to make um, meaningful and strong bonds with other people in the, in the hopes of creating some form of community in these online networks, then we share little tidbits of information. And it's my understanding or my belief that these little tiny connections form a bigger and stronger bonds as we go. Um, another example is Brian Jackson, uh, who I wrote about and talked about a lot on my blog, posted this Instagram picture of his bookshelf. And on his bookshelf, I noticed he's got a lot of Dostoevsky novels. And I mentioned how much I love reading Crime and Punishment, as it was one of my favorite books. 
And he responded, yeah, I love Crime and Punishment. I'd love to teach it. Notes from the underground, amazing. I still need to read Brothers Karamazov. And so I wrote back, BK was amazing. No, I hated the idiot, which is a book that was on his shelf. So in this little exchange of photographs, we've talked about books, books we like to teach, and somehow um, it's given me a fuller picture of Brian. So it's added another pixel into the picture for the image that I know of him. So um, it's that's why I like these social networks. That's why I enjoy Twitter. That's why I enjoy Instagram. Is It allows us to see people on a deeper level just by going through the pictures that um, we share with each other. So anyway, um, it doesn't take much time, but... Instagram is a fantastic way to kind of see another layer of the amount of work done on my projects. Um, now it's almost 2.45. I'm going to go pick up my daughter Kaya from school, nor a drop her off at soccer. Normally on Tuesdays I have a Google meeting. We're trying to become Google, um, Google certified trainers, but our meeting got canceled today. So I have kind of an hour of uh, free time. Not sure what I'm going to do. I think I need some time to kind of um, decompress. So I might walk around and take some photos and then head back in here and see if I can get a little bit more work done um, while Kaya is up in the summer. So I'll we'll see if I'll Here we back. are with Miss Kaya. What are we about hey, to go so do, Kaya? Time. I actually got a lot of work done. I needed uh, something on my to-do list to fill out my bio and stuff at this conference I'm going to. Got that done. Uh, now heading uh, to pick up Kaya from football, soccer, and head home. Uh, usually it's pretty kind of low-tech stuff until they get to bed, so we'll see if I check in from now until then. But for now, they are gone. Hey, look, here they are playing soccer. 4.30, just got home. Um, usually around this time, we try to keep kind of lids down, screens closed, and spend some time with the kids, get dinner ready, watch a little TV. Um, I will admit that my phone is kind of on a shelf and available, so if it dings or rings or if I get any messages, I do sometimes check, but I try not to be glued to it and try to have at least between 4.30 and about 6.30 or 7 when the kids go to bed um, an unscreened time. So anyway, okay, um, so tuning out, it's almost I'll check 7 o'clock now. Um, we've had dinner, the kids have taken baths, we watched a little TV, um, did Kaya's home reading. And now I will use this time to come upstairs and lie with Skylar for a while uh, until she gets comfortable falling asleep. Uh, we read a couple of books and it gives me a chance to get lost in my books. So usually I use this time to read for about half an hour um, early in the night before I go back downstairs. So it's a great time to kind of do that. Hey Sky, you want to say hi? Uh, okay, anyway, get the books. kids went to bed relatively easily tonight, so which is good, which means I have a, a full night to kind of get some work done. Um, these are my trusty, awesome Sony headphones that blast the music as I work. I'll show you kind of ground central here. Uh, this is my MacBook on my lap desk. Um, and this time of night is when I usually a lot of work. And I've done quite a few things actually. I skimmed through about 29 blog posts. Uh, the highlights being a really good post by Dean Shersky about network fatigue, which I shared and commented on. Um, a really good post by Zach Chase about a great video by some Native American students in the U.S., which I commented on, shared, and posted on my class blog so my students can see. Um, I uploaded some photographs to Flickr. I chit-chatted with some friends on Twitter. Um, and I commented on another blog by um, Brian Bennett, who's a, a chemistry teacher in the States, about grading. So all in all, hour well spent. I feel like I, I've learned some things, uh, I've shared some things. Um, again, being part of a network is this idea of that cycle I was talking about, right? I've consumed, I've produced, and I've shared. So now it's time to kind of shut off the machine. The screen's down, it's 8 o'clock, I want to go play guitar for a little bit. Uh, I like to try to at least strum you know, a couple chords for about 30 minutes. Then I watch some TV with my wife, probably, and then read. Um, I'll check back in right before I go to bed to wrap up and fix it. Stole a mule from Anthony, I helped them get upon it, and we rode to Cornell. Through the Harrison and Wallace, they were blasting out the tunnels, making way for light of learning. When Jesus comes to call, she said, He'll be coming round the mountain on a train. Yeah. Well, it's my home. Last night I dreamt that I grew wings. I found a place. 
Okay. Last entry here. It's about 10.15, actually a fairly early night. Uh, finished doing some reading. Did a last minute check of uh, email and Twitter and whatnot. Found out that a bunch of students have uploaded their daily shoots. Um, Andy Mickle in Canada has sent me my handcrafted pen slash stylus. So that's kind of exciting. And we'll see when it actually shows up here in Jakarta. So there you have it. That's about... Um, almost, I guess not 24 hours, but about 18 hours of the day and how I operate in my workflow. All right, thanks for watching.